Hey everyone, welcome back to Anxiety Art Adventures. Today, I am going to show you some awesome, awesome things that I got from Happy Hippo Finds on Etsy. Uh, this is one of my favorite, favorite shops on Etsy. Um, my other one being Jim's um, Handmade Pen Shop and Patty Wax and Whimsical Daisies. So those are my favorite Etsy shops. Um, so I'm going to show you these, but first I want to give a shout out to um, my two new patrons. I did sign up for Patreon. I'm going to try it and I want to explain the reason why I'm trying it is because um, diamond painting in itself as a whole can be very expensive and um, I'm looking for ways to, you know, give back to all of you and, you know, show awesome things, you know, content wise on the channel. Um, and it, it would help, um, to have a uh, Patreon. So I have signed up for Patreon and, um, I've got some cool things in the works with that and that's going to change over time and, you know, as things evolve. But I want to give a shout out to my two new patrons, Jeremy, JTMJ, um, crafts. I uh, love you. Love you, sugar. Um, you're the best. And to my best friend, Sean W., thank you so much for signing up and helping me create awesome content on the channel. So all of that will be uh, down below. And you're going to see uh, at the end of the video, um, I've put a, a slide thanking my Patreon. So anyway, enough about that. Um, so this is from Happy Hippo Fine. So I'm going to show you these and then I'm going to uh, switch over and do a post review of the Diamond Painting Stand By Me by Star Ore that I finished recently. So um, I'm going to give you the pros and cons of that. So yes. So I ordered a few things from Elizabeth over at Happy Hippo Fine. So Elizabeth, thank you so much. Love your shop. And the cool thing is, I mean, it's just little fun fact. Elizabeth also lives in Virginia. So it's, it's cool to have a native Virginian to purchase from. Okay. Oh my goodness. Look at all of these. Wow. I got so many cool things. Okay. So we'll do one thing at a time. All right. So I got me a cute, a cute little narwhal. If my if my phone will focus. Isn't he adorable? Oh my gosh. And he's sparkly. So cute. Oh, and my, my, uh, I asked, this was a custom request. I asked for a disco ball, uh, glitter bowl. Um, I wanted it to look like a disco ball and Elizabeth, you hit the nail on the head. That is awesome. Thank you. Wee! I love anything that's really shiny and glittery. So that I can put um, extra drills in or trash drills. Oh my gosh. And then I got two kitties. Uh, this kitty I got because I used to have um, I used to have a black and white cat named Samantha. Isn't that just adorable? Oh my gosh. And she looked just like that. So I wanted to get that. Oh, of course this is going to happen. This happens every time. <laughs> every time. And then I got a white kitty because that was the closest thing that I could come up with to um, Java. Java's very light colored calico mix. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. They're so adorable. And then I got... Oh, somewhere on here. Wait a minute. Here it is. I don't see the other side of the other magnet. Am I missing a magnet? Anyway, cute little owl. Isn't that adorable? And it's in a really pretty light, light aqua. This is going to become problematic. Y'all, I am starting to collect like so many cover monitors. 
Okay, this one was also a custom request. I asked uh, Elizabeth to do a orange and aqua sea turtle for me. Um, I have a purple and a aqua uh, sea turtle, so I wanted to get aqua and orange, which are, uh, it's one of my favorite color combos, so especially with coloring and, and things like that. Isn't that pretty? And it's glittery. Yay. Okay. And I ordered the dragon in green glitter and she had sent me a message saying that the tail unfortunately had broken off, but isn't that pretty? So because the tail broke off, she was so sweet and she sent me another one. Um, hold on. She sent me another one, a nice black glittery one. Isn't that cool? I love dragons. Love them. Love them. So precious. So she was so nice to do that. Oh, here's the other one for the owl. There we go. Okay. And then I also got a hot pink sea turtle. I love the sea turtles. They are so adorable. And as you know, if you followed my channel for a while, you know sea turtles are like one of my favorite, favorite things. And then I got these two really awesome, they're like kaleidoscope um, cover minders. Aren't they pretty? This one's got the aquas in it, which I love. And then this one's got real pretty pink and purple. Oh, so beautiful. So beautiful. And then this she included as a extra gift. So for the month of May, anyone that orders cover minders, she's including an additional cover minder for you. And so she used the leftover aqua and orange that I asked for on the turtle to make a big giant heart cover minder. Isn't that just fabulous? Fabulous. So definitely, if you haven't checked out Happy Hippo Fawns, you should definitely go check out her shop. She has awesome cover minders and pens, um, all kinds of things. Um, just amazing. Love her shop. So definitely check out her shop. So anyway, these are all my cover minders I ordered. Thank you again, Elizabeth. So I'm going to pause this and I'm going to set up uh, the Stand By Me so we can review uh, do a post review of Stand By Me. Be right back. Okay, and we're back. Okay, so this is Stand By Me by Star Or. It is a 51 by 40 round drill kit with two ABs. Uh, the drill area itself is 47 by 35. So this is not a huge painting, um, and there was a lot of color blocking, which I, I like color blocking. It makes it go a lot faster for me, and I use a multi-placer. Um, I usually use like a 13, 14 multi-placer. Um, looks like this. Um, I get these from Star Ore uh, in a kit uh, where you can get a variety of um, different ones. Let's see if I have the set. Yeah. Okay. So this is the set that I got from Star Ore and it's got a bunch of different thin multi-placers and then it's got your big spacer where you can space out your your drills. Um, I love this kit. Uh, you can get this on StarOr.com, and I'll link that down below. Uh, I use those often. Okay, so pros. Let's go over the pros first. Um, again, smaller size canvas. Um, it, very sticky canvas. I didn't have any problems with um, the stickiness of the canvas. I never do with uh, Star Or kits. And uh, you've got your legend, can't really see it, but you've got a legend over here on the left. You've got a schematic, it tells you your drill area and fabric size. Um, so uh, smaller, smaller sized uh, diamond painting so that you aren't overwhelmed by, you know, a large one. And I worked on this one in between um, two other larger ones. I usually do that. I try to work on a small one as an alternate. Um, is my camera being a patootie? Let's see. I think it is, y'all. Being a patootie. There we go. Um, so yeah, overall, I, I really like this painting. And this, this diamond painting, 
has some sentimental value to me because it makes me think of my dog that passed away um, a few years ago, Alex. So I saw this and had to get it, and the colors are gorgeous. Now, the, the downfall of this, let me show you. Okay, for such a small size painting, this is the trash that I had. Um, if I can get it all out of my trash can here. Yep, okay. So I had a lot, I had a lot of trash drills and most of them were broken drills or had uh, like extra bits on them. Um, you know, so there, there was, there was trash, um, and you're going to get trash in any diamond painting that you do, but I, f I felt like this was more trash than normal. And that's not even all of it because a lot of times I would put one down and it would break and I would just toss it and not think about it. Um, just out of sheer frustration. Uh, this is the first time with Star Wars that I've had such an issue with the drills. Um, especially broken drills. They were broken in half. They were broken, um, like just little pieces broken off. So I don't know if it was just, uh, they got handled roughly in shipping or what have you, but, um, the drills were horrible and, um, the canvas, they slid around quite a, the drills, you could slide them around quite a bit. Um, and I know that if you let it sit out for a little bit, that should, decrease if you let air get to the canvas and let it cure a little bit that didn't happen with this one because I had this one sitting out um, for a pretty lengthy period of time and I could still move the drills around so with this one I'd probably go ahead and seal it uh, if I'm gonna hang it up so um, and there are all kinds of different sealers if you watch Mrs. Coffee um, she just did a video on sealers which I'm so glad she did because I went ahead and ordered some of the um, the Minwax uh, sealer for my diamond paintings. But yeah, other than that, great. The ABs are here. You have a, a white AB and a yellow AB. Um, that was nice. I don't know if you can see how that is more glittery than the rest. But yeah, those are ABs. So anyway, so that is Star Or. Um, do I recommend Star Or? Yes, I highly recommend Star Or. Now I purchase um, canvases from Amazon that are Star Wars as well as off of Lucy's website, StarWars.com. Um, you get a larger variety of Star Wars canvases on her website. So my recommendation would be to get it from her website. Now, they do come from China. So I will tell you, it, it takes a little bit of time to get a canvas from her. I think this took probably... I think it was like two to three weeks, um, which with everything going on, I'm not upset about and I, it's not going to bother me. I know it's coming from her. I know eventually it will get here. Um, I've always had great customer service with Lucy. Um, so yes, I do recommend Star War as a diamond painting company. So yeah, so that is my post review of Star War. I've got all kinds of dirt and hair and stuff I gotta brush out of here so yes uh, I think that's it if anybody has any questions uh, please put them in the comments below and if you have this kit let me know uh, if you have finished it let me know your thoughts um, if you had any issues with the drills or with the sliding around um, but honestly it it was a joy to work on and I finished it fairly quickly uh, due to the color blocking. Um, I love color blocking. Confetti, I don't mind confetti because I know confetti uh, shows the detail, but I do like to mix it up with some color blocking. So yeah, so that is Stand By Me. So anyway, I hope everybody has a fabulous, fabulous Thursday and a wonderful weekend and I'll have another video on Sunday probably going to be a whip and chat on Sunday and um yeah we'll go from there so anyway everybody have a lovely day again thank you to Jeremy and Sean shout out to my patrons thank you so much appreciate you supporting my channel so that I can offer you guys more awesome content Wee! all right everyone have a lovely day and I will see you again really soon
拜。